What are some harmless ways to fuck with people? Buy a set of voice activated or motion activated stickers from Amazon and the possibilities are endless. I'm a huge fan of just handing somebody something without any explanation and walking away. When at work, tell someone, I'm going to the bathroom do you need anything? I saw someone on Facebook comment on a picture that, the three of you look great. There were four people in the picture. One time I called my friend who had just dropped me off on my cell phone and told her that I had forgotten my cell phone in her car. She hung up turned around and called me on my cell phone when she pulled in the driveway. I came out while talking on the phone with her and when she saw the grin on my face it all clicked. I honestly didn't even think it would work but I'm really glad it did. Every other week or so I'd change which side my co-worker's drills belt clip was on, two screws and 30 seconds for a maddening payout. IDK if he ever caught on, as he sadly passed away last year. I got a huge kick out of doing it though. Might bring that one back as most of us share the same brand of drill. He got a great one on me. Every day or two he'd hide a Magic the Gathering card in my toolbox, never the same spot twice. Genuinely made me mad when I'd pick something up only to see another card hidden beneath. Eventually I had enough cards to completely cover his locker door inner and outer, he never took him off. Even cut out cards to fit the vents on the locker. I spent a good hour or two on my day off making it. Proud of that one. Rip Chris. Pranks haven't been the same since you left. Your locker still remains covered in magic cards and nobody has questioned it to this day. When you shake someone's hand, move yours left to right. As they do the traditional up and down, a hilarious circle ensues. Oh man do I have a story. In my freshman year of college, my roommate was a very neat and orderly person. He had every pencil in place, every paper had a folder, and his things got neatly packed away. We were pretty amicable towards one another, even with my messy living. At first, when he would leave for classes, I would admire how tidy his desk was and thought to myself, I should fuck with that. For the whole year we lived together I would sneak used staples everywhere on his stuff. Homework folder, staple, pencil case, staple, backpack, staple, shower caddy, you bet that pube infested bar of soap got a staple on it. Hell even the TV remote got a staple in it between the batteries so when they died he would eventually find another. I did it often but was careful to space the staple events far enough apart to not raise suspicion on myself. I further protected myself by making a huge deal of having to borrow the across the hall neighbor's stapler whenever I needed to bind papers together. About March of our second semester he had become insanely suspicious of anybody with a stapler and watched them like a hawk. The straw that broke the camel's back I had asked him one night what his plans were under the guise of having a companion over for a visit. He said after dinner he had to go check out some obscure book at the library. When he left and headed to the dining hall, I snuck off to the library, found the obscure book he needed, and clicked a staple into it. He gets back to the dorm room and I'm doing homework in the same spot when he had left an hour earlier, claiming the meetup didn't end up happening. He sits down at his desk and opens up his newly rented book and tick asterisk I hear that staple fall out onto his desk. All I hear after that is, yo where the fuck all these goddamn staples coming from, I revealed myself after graduation when I mailed him a birthday card with a used staple in it. Thankfully he got the biggest kick out of the card and we still talk daily. TL, DI put used staples in, on, and around my roommate's things. I know someone who always takes an item to a party and leaves it somewhere in the house, i.e. a trinket, tchotchke. I'm British, living in Poland. Whenever I'm in the city I always stop and help people holding maps, because there's really not much support for tourists and I want to give other visitors a good impression. However, I usually talk to them in a really thick, fake Slavic accent, but segue into my plummy English accent over the course of the conversation. If they ever comment on how good my English is, I lap straight back into the fake Polish one and thank very much for nice words, I try do my best but is hard, you know. When driving I like to wave at random people as if I knew them. Hilarious to see instant confusion on their faces. I put a tiny piece of masking tape over my co-worker's mouse laser on April Fool's day one year, wrote, April Fool's, on it. He troubleshot every single thing except examining the mouse. He eventually called IT who simply turned the mouse over and pointed it out to him. Ask, what was your, or your wife's, husband's, sister's, etc. 
name again. After they answer I shake my head and say, no, that's not it. If I know someone is walking a little ways behind me and I turn a corner with nobody else around I like to run 10 to 20 steps to widen the gap and then laugh to myself thinking that the person behind me will be confused. I doubt anyone ever notices but I get a kick out of it every time. I went with a friend to the bank to get some papers he needed signed and some minor things done to his account. Every time the guy helping him got up to do something, he and I swapped seats. It took about three before the guy really looked hard at us trying to work out if he was going mad. Also semi-related, I can do my signature backwards, a mirror of itself. But then I write it right to left. I do it on unimportant things, like signing for a delivery or similar. People standing waiting while I do it, like the FedEx guy or whoever, can see something isn't right but can't usually work out what it is. I've had someone eventually say with a sigh of relief, oh, you're left-handed until I showed him the pen was still in my right hand and left him to wonder. Edit, there's a pic a few comments down if anyone wants to see. The movie theater in my town is usually mostly empty. There's been a couple of times when I've come in to get seated and there's literally only one other person in my auditorium. There's an evil part of me that wants to just go sit right next to them. Not illegal, but it should be. Don't turn around when you walk into a lift. Carefully step over a non-existing obstacle. My friend was logged into his Twitter on my tablet so I kept changing his profile picture to a banana. He thought someone hacked him and tweeted about it. I replied to the tweet using his profile. It got so bad he was arguing with himself on Twitter. Looking at a non-reflective surface and doing stuff like fixing your hair and checking if there's something in your teeth. My mother-in-law is meticulous about her home decor. One day, we come over and she out of the blue asks if we have been flipping one of her decorations on its side every time we visited. We were puzzled until our six-year-old started cracking up. The little monster had been switching it for months. Everyone got a good laugh out of it. After giving a compliment, say, no offense, and watch them struggle to find the non-existent insult. When someone knocks on the public washroom door you are in respond with come in. Whenever I visit my extended family across the country, I bring a bag full of random remotes that I don't use anymore. Just random remotes that go to old DVRS or anything really. Just hide them around their house, they only recently caught on. It works best if you are standing, but use your judgment, gradually lower the volume of your voice. Others will match your volume and they tend to move closer. Wait for your moment and just start speaking in a normal or slightly louder than normal voice. If someone asks for your name, saying something like, Jack, but with only one, P. When having a conversation during a meal, specifically only ask questions to people that are chewing. ETA, I was never a server, but had this taught to me by a dear friend of mine years ago when we used to eat in a public cafeteria and mess with people we just met. When you're talking to someone, just keep handing them random items. They'll just keep taking them without realizing it. Keep correcting them on the pronunciation of your name, even when they are saying it correctly every time. Heard a story about a guy who hid pennies, use your equivalent smallest coin, throughout all his roommate's stuff. This sounds minor, until you realize he spent tilde $1.37 on this, tilde 3700 coins. Top spots in shoe linings sewn into clothes inside bottle caps inside a bar of soap, cut it tn half, insert coin, mush back together with water. That's my favorite, would take months to find as you use the bar of soap. This one is harmless but occasionally can drive someone mad. My mom has a bunch of framed family photos hanging on a wall. One day I was visiting I took them all down and scanned them with a little hand scanner. I photoshopped small changes on them, removed some people from some photos, added a couple of celebrities in the background, etc., print them out and replaced them a few days later. I can't forget her face when she realized it was me and she was not losing it. There was a story on Reddit a while back where a guy was refilling his wife's ketchup bottle so that it was constantly almost empty. For months, years, she would use the same bottle and he waited for the day she noticed that it never emptied. She bounced the bottle off his head when he revealed his game. I mess with colleagues during meetings by controlling how they sit. You copy everything they do to start, they lean back, you lean back, etc. Then, slowly, take the lead. If they are sitting back. 
sit forwards. I have managed to start mini Mexican waves of people moving back and forth in meetings. My neighbor got an expensive new camera for his front door. Randomly, for the last several months, I have covered myself in a black cloak, including face, crawled up into camera view, and left a random harmless object. A carrot, spool of thread, three ink pens with the caps mixed up, dumb meaningless things. On camera, a dark shape appears and disappears leaving a random object behind. It is driving his silly ass crazy. Say, no pun intended, after a sentence where there was clearly no pun. I do this every so often because it's kind of a game to me to see how long I can keep it up till the person catches on. I repeat the last word the person says in question form. Example, hey, me and Jenny are headed to Jim's Pizza Hut. Jim's Pizza Hut, yeah, you know the one on F Street. F Street, over there near the harbor with the big carousel. Carousel, yeah, you know the one you went with me and Jane. Jane, my girlfriend. Girlfriend, okay, what the fuck is wrong with you? Once they call you out and have caught on the game ends. I've carried on a conversation over an hour once doing this. It's really awesome when the person you are doing it to has gone through this a few times with you. My daughter has gotten me a few times herself and she'll laugh on and off for the day at my expense. Her husband has called me an ass for teaching this to her a few times too. Mail someone a red golf ball every week for a while. Then mail them a green golf ball and stop. My grandpa does this thing where he stops in the busy street and starts staring into the sky as if he's seen something amazing. It doesn't take long for other people to stop and stare too. Once he's reaches critical mass he quietly slips away chuckling to himself. Edit, he's in his 90s now but when he was a teenager he was a bit of a young tearaway and had a pet monkey, which is weird considering this was the UK. Edit 2. Holy crap this blew up overnight. And on my cake day too. I was talking with a supervisor and I happened to have like four hard-boiled eggs in my jacket pocket for lunch. So while talking with stuff, I took out an egg, cracked and shelled it and ate it. The conversation kept going so I did it again but I could see he was growing quizzical. I waited a few more minutes, pulled out another and ate that too. By then I could tell he was like WTF. The conversation was wrapping up so I pulled the last one out and he stopped mid-conversation and asked me, how many F$ C king eggs do you have? I just shrugged, shelled, and then ate, the last egg. When cold called, make your only response, hut. In varying tones. Once got to almost 5 minutes with an Indian guy from some insurance scam call center before being told to F asterisk CK off. Phone has been pretty silent since then. Alternate approach. Say, okay, hold on a sec. Lay the receiver down and see how long they're prepared to wait on the chance you're coming back. Good times. Say, high five, to someone, but don't put your hand up. When someone is talking to you look right over top of their head. Keep the conversation going but look right over them. My grandpa glued a quarter to his driveway near the sidewalk and sits in his living room and watches people try to pick it up. I didn't know this till I found a quarter in the driveway one time. If you ever have a moment with their computer or cell phone use their search engine to look for a bunch of nonsense products and then erase the search history. The algorithm will think they have interest in said products and put a bunch of ads recommending them for the next few days. I love mistakenly pronouncing words mid-sentence only to pronounce them correctly moments later. I mispronounce famous people's names constantly then say it correctly randomly so they never know what to expect. Billy Elash, John Legends, Jason Ackles. Text them, turn around, when you're not near them. When I was a corrections officer we had a guy who worked with us who was kind of a dick to everyone, and he was computer illiterate. We took a screenshot of his desktop and moved all of his icons off of it so it looked legit but nothing worked. It took him an hour before he finally called IT and they figured it out pretty quickly. He wouldn't talk to any of us for about a week. Put up a lost and found poster for your lost fish. Shout at friends from far away, like at a concert, but gibberish. When they say, what? Slowly, phonetically, repeat the gibberish. See how many times they ask, what? Before either just agreeing or if you get bored, just randomly go, okay liked you agreed to something hey roy yeah have you roddy the scan bake on triangle what have you rod dy the scan 
bait on try hangul quote dot 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 what the scan bake it all yes no quote dot 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 what okay i will thanks quote dot 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 quote whenever you're speaking to somebody who is dominating the conversation focus on their chin or ear look slightly concerned every so often flick back to their eyes but then always make your way back to the one thing watch them get increasingly more uncomfortable then eventually just leave if a bird lands by you and there are people around crouch down towards the bird and ask did you bring my messages and then just go back to what you were doing begin christmas dinner by serving one's plate at the table and passing the dish to the right pass the next dish to the left continue alternating everybody is delighted because they don't have to wait except for one person the one sitting opposite you who juggles an onslaught of bowls and platters from both directions amuse yourself watching this person's frustration when i order coffee and they ask for the name i say green like the sky we have trash collection day every 2 weeks i used to put the garbage bins out on the wrong week in the morning just for fun people would see that when they left for work and think oh shit i forgot and pull their own bins out of course more bins out made it all even more believable and it spread like rings on the water at most i had almost half the area putting the garbage out the wrong day when someone asks for the time excuse me do you know what time it is yes yes what yes sir i have a secondary remote that my kids don't know about sometimes i'll stand out of sight and turn up the volume or hit back when they select something to watch It's pretty funny. Every few months I drive by my buddy's truck parked at his work and think, "Yay, today is the day to mess with him." I'll open the tailgate or maybe fold a single mirror. Sometimes I'll just raise one windshield wiper so it waves hello to him as he walks out after a long day. He's been complaining about it to me for years. I just smile and say, "You should put up cameras." Walk up to a couple of your coworkers. Say, "I just want to tell you both good luck." We're all counting on you. Walk away. If you are at a stoplight with your window down, gesture to the car next to you to roll down their window. If they roll their window down, roll yours up and just carry on. When my husband pours his coffee into his mug and turns around to get milk out of the refrigerator, I pour his coffee back into the coffee pot or into my mug. I cackle as I run out of the room. Save all the white Smarties candy and fill an aspirin bottle. dump out a handful and start chewing them while going up the chairlift at a ski resort my friend and i would call out to someone under the chairlift call them a random name and yell we ll wait for you at the top usually the person would spend time trying to explain to us they weren't who we thought they were we'd act like we couldn't hear them and insist we'd wait for them at the top call one of those how's my driving bumper sticker numbers and let them know that their driving is wonderful Misuse idioms on purpose. Oh man, this turned out to be a blessing in the skies. When they ask what your favorite song or band is, tell them you don't like music. When they ask why, say because there are no pictures like movies and TV shows. Call a stranger and say, "Guess who this is?" I make strange comments in my shopping lists and then leave them in the cart in the corral. Eggs, milk, butter, fancy pants for the fancy dance bread potatoes. say never mind when someone interrupts you it will make them more curious about what you wanted to say works really well with my siblings one thing i do is when someone asks directions i say something like if you take a left out of the parking lot and go down to the light then turn right you'll be going the wrong direction it's actually give correct directions in high school at track practice we stole one of our friend's car keys It was old enough it didn't have a chip inside. We drove to Home Depot and got a copy made and returned his keys. Every day at practice we would move his car to a different parking spot but in the same lot. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and liking. Any feedback in the comments would be greatly appreciated so that we can make these videos even better. Thanks for watching Upvote Stories.